Hello explorers, welcome to Art at Home with Mrs. C. Today we're gonna learn how to draw a tiger like French artist Henri Rousseau. So hopefully you've already heard the story about this famous artist and now we're gonna learn how to draw a tiger just like the ones in his paintings. So you need a piece of paper, anything to draw with, pencil, pen, marker, crayons, whatever you got, and let's get started. So our first step is going to be the top of the tiger's head. And this is just gonna be a tiger portrait. So it's just gonna be his head and the top part of his body. Um, so like I said, the first step is gonna be the top of his head. It's gonna be a sad face. And you wanna make it pretty big, okay? Because this is gonna be the size of his head. So if you make it too small, you're gonna have an itty bitty little tiger. And we want a big tiger to fill our paper. So once you have the sad face, now we're gonna move on to the ears. And the ears are almost pointy, yet rounded at the same time, like cat ears, okay? Next step, we're gonna do the rest of the head, and this is gonna be a big smiley face. Ta-da! All right, next step, we are going to add the nose and eyes and mouth. So for the nose, we're gonna do an upside down triangle. Like so. For the eyes, we're actually gonna make two lines that will help make the snout of the tiger or the nose of the tiger. So instead of just making dots for the eyes, we're actually gonna go up and down, up, and down. So they almost look like upside down um, umbrella handles um, or upside down J's, but that's gonna allow us to have a snout for our tiger or a nose that kind of sticks out. The eyes are gonna be hidden on the side of these two lines. Okay, and now you need a nice smile. Now tigers have whiskers, so you wanna make some fun whiskers, probably about three or four on each side. Now inside a tiger's ears, you also have um, a little line to make the center of the ears, okay? And then we're gonna make the rest of his body or his the top of his body, like so. Now right now, he just looks like a cat. We wanna make him look like a tiger. So you're gonna add some triangles um, to add the stripes of the tiger. So what you're gonna do, starting at the top, is make a triangle or a zigzag line to add some stripes. You're also gonna add some on the sides and you might have more room than Miss Camello. My whiskers got a little crazy. So um, make as many stripes as you can and then you can also continue them on the tiger's body. And there you have a tiger like Henri Rousseau. Now when you go to color it, you wanna make these stripes black and you can use crayons, markers, whatever you have to add color and really make this tiger come to life. So Camilla is just gonna do the stripes real quick and then we'll start adding some orange for our tiger's body. Now Rousseau did a really good job making his tiger um, look like he was pouncing at us um, deep in the jungle. So if you also wanna add some leaves in the background, you can do that too. So to make some leaves, you can make them around the edges. And this will help make Mr. Tiger look like he is deep in the jungle in his natural habitat or where he lives. Move my crayons for a second. And what I like to do is draw everything out first and then go in and add color. Just so I have that drawing all ready to go and I can focus on the color later, okay? So like Miss Camello said, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you can use markers. Even if you have some scrap paper, you can cut out some leaves out of scrap paper, but you really wanna make this tiger come to life. All right, boys and girls, I cannot wait to see your tigers. They are gonna be fantastic. And thanks for watching Art at Home with Mrs. C. Bye guys.